Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Anthony Log. The Jamaica Business Development Corporation, JBDC, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Access Financial Services, this in a bid to provide direct access to financing solutions for small businesses. The deal was signed on Wednesday. Financing for micro, small and medium-sized enterprises continues to be a major challenge. CEO of Access Financial Services, Hugh Campbell, says the agreement will provide loans to these businesses for various purposes, along with tailored financial advice. More than 425,000 micro, small and medium enterprise operators that fuel engine of our economy, contributing billions in taxes yearly. Yet despite their contributions to the formal economy, through taxes, employment, and ripple effect across society, they remain largely underserved by traditional providers. Our friends at JBDC know all too well the issues that entrepreneurs face in developing and growing their business. Limited options for, afford for affordable financing, not enough expert, expert guidance and know-how to sustain their businesses, determining the right route to market, and I could go on and on. The partnership will also see the provision of capacity building, marketing, and other support services available through the JBDC for Businesses. CEO of the JBDC, Val Riviera, says the organization hopes to also equip the financial institution to understand the MSME sector. We will be providing some um, sensitization to the team at Access. That's our commitment. And we'll continue to provide support on the other side in preparing clients that might go directly to access but need to be prepared for the relationship so we are married you know how it is with marriage, marriage counseling we're going to be always there so when if the marriage gets a little shaky we'll come back in and do some more counseling she says more work must be done to understand the evolving nature of msmes despite us thinking that the msme is well known everything about them is well known in jamaica the reality is that it is evolving. There are new industries like the creative industries where as Susan says, I dance and Mr. Davis sings, they are sort of coming into their own and there are other such industries. And we have to be the broker to interpret some of their needs and share that with the other side of the equation. For the Business Day, I'm Javon Keyes. Foreign exchange trading ended today with banks and cambios selling the American dollar for an average $156.72. The Canadian dollar is being sold for $115.18. $198.77 is the average value of the pound, while the euro is going for $170.83. The JSE index declined by 2,263 points, while the junior market advanced by 35 points. Among the 46 winners were 138 Student Living, Jamaica Variable Preference, Cygnus Credit Investments, US Dollars, Ordinary Shares, Iron Rock Insurance Company, Access Financial Services, and MFS Capital Partners. The 42 losers included JMMB Group 7% Variable Jamaican Dollars Cumulative Redeemables Preference Shares, Jamaica Public Service 7%, Cygnus Real Estate Finance, US Dollar Shares, AMG Packaging, and Paper Company and NCB Financial Group, 18 Stocks Traded Firm. And that's the Business Day. I'm Anthony Log. Good evening.